Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add photos and images to your video using your video editing software. Now, so you can see Royal King asked me on my last video, how did I put my thumbnail image in my video at the end? Well, I'll show you how to do that really quickly. Now, I'm gonna use a few different examples on my Mac using a couple different video editing software applications. Now, I don't know what you are using to edit your videos, but the process is generally almost exactly the same across all video editing software. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a couple of different ways uh, for different applications. So, and you can go to your video editing app application and kind of use the same process because it's generally almost always the same. So for example, here I have added this image to my video. This is ScreenFlow on my Mac. So I'll show you how to do that real quick on this. All you gotta do is click add media and then browse to the, the picture and then click open and it'll add it to your media library. Now, most video ed editing applications have this media library. All the images and all the content and videos, stuff like that, that you added to your library, you have the ability to add to your timeline down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna add this to my timeline. I'm just gonna drag it, drop it on my timeline, and there we go. I can move it around. If I had a video right here, it would play, and then this video or this photo would show up right there. And uh, generally, it's the same on other applications. So as I'm gonna show you right now. So if I go to Final Cut Pro, I click this Import Media button right here. It's the down arrow in Final Cut Pro, and then go to My Downloads, and then add this image, hit Import, click on that. It's gonna import it to my library. Now, if you're trying to add this photo on top of a video, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So this is my video. Let's say I wanna add this photo on top of my video, like right here. So I'll click on the timestamp right there, go up to my photo in my media library, and then just drag and connect it to my timeline. And now, now the photo is on top of my video. The process is generally the same across many different video editing applications, even if you're on a PC. Most likely to add a photo, it's always like file and then import or add and then media or photo. And if you want to add professional images to your videos like the one I used in this video, check out the sponsor of this video, graphicstock.com, which has the largest unlimited download library with over 300,000 graphics, photos, vectors, and images. Most other photo sites charge per download and the costs can add up quickly, but with GraphicStock, you get unlimited downloads with your membership and all memberships come with a 100% royalty-free agreement, which means you won't get in trouble for any copyright infringement and you can use the images in your mind monetized YouTube videos. To get your exclusive seven-day free trial, go to graphicsdoc.com slash YouTube or click the link in the description below. During your free trial, you can download up to 140 pieces of content and when it's over, you can cancel or you can sign up for your annual membership for only $99. It's a great resource for YouTubers because not only can you use the images in your videos, but you can also use them for your YouTube thumbnails. So definitely check out GraphicsDoc. That is a great resource for YouTubers and thanks for watching my basic tutorial on how to add photos to your your videos using your video editing software. If you want to learn anything else when it comes to video editing, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to make a video about that sometime in the future. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy with channelempire.com and I will talk to you in the next video.